My name is Jake Nickel, and uh, my talk tonight is called Never Stop Making. But first, some background, a little bit about Threadless. I started Threadless now almost 12 years ago. I was going to art school at the time, and I just wanted to make cool things together with my friends. I think it's really important to just like take your pen out, grab a notebook, and write, like draw something. One day I had an idea and I sort of stuck with it. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna make some swimwear. So I made five pieces of swimwear with a friend of mine, showed some of my friends and family. And then two and a half years later, uh, we sell in something ridiculous like 28 countries. Um, and 30-something cities. When we get an idea, don't think about what it is that is actually going to happen after that or what could happen or you know, um, how big it may be. You just want to do something for the sake of doing something. I started a blog in 2010, in January, and I had no idea how to start a website. Like, how do you do that? And you know, I had no idea that anybody would actually want to read it, and I just didn't want to, you know, add to the clutter of the internet and start this really shit site that, you know, nobody visited because that would have been demoral demoralising. So, you know, I just thought about it, thought about it, talked to my husband every night. I think I drove him mental, and I did, meaning, you know, to a point where he just said, look, just freaking start it. Just, just do it, man. And um, so I did. As an interior designer, obviously, I look at lots of, you know, interior design stuff and architecture. and. Um, but I, was, I, was, I really wasn't um, thinking of starting a site for designers. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just kind of publishing stuff that I thought would be useful to other designers. And I really wanted to celebrate amazing things. I'm 28 years old. Um, and 12 years ago, I decided that I too was going to be someone that acted on kind of impulse and ideas. In the year 2002, when I was 18, we entered this thing called the Nescafe Big Break. I'm not sure if anyone remembers it, but basically that. it gave young people with ideas like $20,000. So we won. I decided that with this money, I would move to LA. Um, because what I really wanted to do at the time, I was kind of getting bored with the whole record label thing, was make a film. So I made 1994, um, which is about, you know, punk rock in the 90s. A lot of people always say to me, oh, you know, how did you do this? How did, how did you get this happening? You must know a lot of the stuff. And the truth is, I'll be really talented or skilled. I'm not talented or skilled at all. My, my biggest, the, like, the biggest thing I have going for me is that other people won't do things. So I'll decide that I want to start a record label. There's probably a million people better at it than me, but they're not going to do it because they're lazy. My biggest mistake is just um, not starting the blog when I first had an idea to do it. My biggest mistake was taking the money I got from EMI and trying to make a documentary in 90s punk rock. <laughs> <laughs> Probably when I hooked up our FedEx account for Threadless to my to an individual credit card, and it would they would process every single item that we shipped as a separate charge in the card, and for every they would keep trying to charge the card even though it would get declined, and for everyone they charged five dollar decline fee, and then that racked up for three months and uh, almost put us out of business. Wow. <laughs> that's an actual mistake. I wasn't even looking at the bills. <laughs> <laughs>